All right, so I'm really, really excited about this one because uh, typically, you know, when you take a design from Figma and you try to generate the code, it's going to have a hard time. So the solutions would be, uh, some solutions would be to export, you know, basic HTML code, for example, and hope for the best. But typically, it's not going to get some of these nuanced uh, details such as, you know, the blending mode or the layers or the outlines. Um, and and it, it really depends on how good the code export is, even though the code doesn't work. But here, I'm creating a plugin that is actually going to export code and it's really accurate, uh, depending on the complexity of your layer. So for example, I'm going to export this one and you're gonna see that the code is actually pretty good. Uh, but most importantly, there's just nothing out there for Swift UI and we are kind of like killing the you know the the step where we need to copy the code to Claude and then Claude to you know to, to the actual UI. Here we're going directly to Figma, we're selecting the layer and we're generating the code and you can see from this design here we have this code here. And this is really accurate. This is the kind of code that I would actually use. And then we support multiple languages such as Swift UI. And, um, you know, unlike a lot of plugins out there where you copy the code to Xcode and it's not going to work, here I try to make it so that 90% of the time, if you copy the code, unless, you know, AI, for example, decides to do this include thing or maybe the code is too long, maybe it might not work, but most of the time, such as looking at this code right here, you're gonna see that it's actually going to work. And this is production level code in a sense that this is the type of code that I would do myself. And you can see the button, uh, the text, the modifiers, and it's not trying to do uh, you know clever things such as creating uh, separate uh, structs or styles or modifiers and by not doing that then the code here should work so I can just copy the code and go to Xcode so look at some of the examples you can see that this is not <laughs> created manually um, and it was able to get this on the first go the only thing that I, w I had to do and you can see from the blue things here I had to add the corner radius and you know 